Okay. Hi, my name is Annalise Mendes, and this is a pause for purity. For those of you who don't know, I'm in the Women's Discipleship House. I've been in the house for a year and a half and still haven't graduated. <laughs> this year has... <laughs> uh, this year has been probably one of the hardest years of my life. I came into this house as a leader, thinking that everything was okay, but I still had struggles in my life that I needed to deal with before I could ever lead anyone or ministry. I had to deal with my past and had to deal with my family issues that I've had. God and I were at a standstill at this point. I either had to deal with these issues and move on with him, or sit there, cover up sin, and play the make pretend game that everything was good, the game that I had been playing my whole life. This past year, God has broken me. And he has used you to do it, Sarah. <laughs> After a half a year of being in the house, Sarah decided to put me back in blackout. I was six months into the house, and I started blackout day one in January. And for those of you that don't know, blackout is not easy. It's not a vacation. It's hard. It's God digging deep into you and um, molding you into a, a woman or God or a man of God. It's not something that's easy. It's digging through your past and bringing up junk. And um, when I first heard this, I was furious, angry, frustrated, hurt, felt unloved, and I wanted to leave. Honestly, I was done. I was done with this house. I was done with church, and I wanted to run away and leave all my problems behind. I didn't want to have to deal with anyone or anything. But I am so grateful that I stayed. One cold night in January, I hit rock bottom. I was in the basement, and Sarah told everyone to leave. And she told me to stay down there and wrestle with God and press into him. I didn't want to. I wanted to come up. I was whining, crying, and screaming. I wanted anyone to come to that rescue that night. And someone did. Jesus. That night, I saw Jesus on another level. I didn't just see him as my savior, but now I saw him as my loving Lord. I've always heard people talk about this hiding place. The hiding place is where no one or nothing can touch you. It's a secret place that you have with God. It's not a location or a physical place. It's a spiritual place that is reserved for just you and him. I never had that until that night in the basement. That was one of the darkest times of my life, and it was through times like that that God began to speak to me, and he gave me the words to this song. Thank you, Sarah. But you call me princess. 
Sarah, thank you so much for what you've done in my life and how you've always pointed me back to Jesus. And I love you.